What's up all my little gaming superheroes? We are back and we're going to check out something a little bit different and it's New Year's and we want to take a look at my favorite basketball shoe, the Converse ERX series. Let's see if it still survived the tests of time and we're going to go to the gym, we're going to put on these shoes. You're going to see how stylistic these things are, well at least I think that they're damn well stylistic. So back in the day, the Converse ERX. What can I say about it? They had, I think, nine different versions, and there's probably other variations as well. But from what I know in my research, I've seen that there's the Converse ERX 100s, there's the 150s, the 200s, the 250s, the 260s, the 300s, the 350s, the 360s, and yours truly, the Gaming Superheroes original official shoe is going to be the Converse ERX 400s. I coined it. No one's ever even talking about these. And I'm going to take, you know, these are going to be my shoe. I'm sorry. So mainly in this video, we're going to try and focus on which parachute, which ERX series is to avoid and which ones to get. I'm going to surprise you because we're going to look at it. You're going to see which one I'm going to review, which one I'm going to test out. I mean, we're going to look at all of them, the ones that I own. I own five of them. So we're going to take a look at that, hit the gym. It's New Year's. We're going to have some fun, and let's go and do it. There we go. Happy New Year, all you gaming superheroes out there. It's time for the gaming superhero to go to the gym. We're going to have some fun. We're going to check out my Converse ERX series line. If you don't know what that is, I got a whole bunch of shoes to show you. We're going to check out the performance, which ones to buy. It's pretty much a buyer's guide. So we're going to check it out. Get a good workout in with the gaming superhero because all my little gaming superheroes out there want to have some fun. You want to get some good shoes. You need some good kicks. You need some kicks to get into the gym. Get that proper workout. Get a good pump going. So let's go check it out right now. All right, so the ones I got, got the Converse ERX 100s. I used these in my video. I actually painted the bottom. Some of these actually originally have black. I really like the black bottom. So I was like, you know what? I'll just paint them. They wore off. These ones are beautiful, the 150s. Trust me, these ones I originally got. I was so happy, I wanted to get the blue and black ones, kind of like the Zach Morris style, but these ones popped up. I was like, you know what, gotta pick these up. These ones are the official game superhero shoe that I used in that video. The 200s, these ones are nice and sturdy. All the, these three are actually like the sturdy ones. They don't have any weird midsole like this. This was the one that pissed me off. I had no idea. These were actually the first ones I got. This midsole is destroyed, the inside of this thing. These look so sick, but trust me, watch this. This stuff just comes like right off. It's turned into this mush, now I gotta wash my hands. Shouldn't have done that. But these ones, super sweet. Look at the fat tongues, they're so beautiful. Too bad I can't wear them. I suggest to never get these because of this midsole. It just crumbles. Well, look at this. Look at this. I bet this one... Uh, yeah, right there. Look at that crack. All this stuff is just like crumbling apart. It's too bad. It's a shame. These ones as well. I don't trust them, but I just love the look. 400s. These ones I wanted to be the original gaming superhero shoe. If I could get these redone, I'd love to get these redone, man. These ones are so cool. They just get me so pumped up. This is like pure 80s. Freak. Like, look at how cool these tongues are, man. These are so sick. By far, my favorite the RX series. But if you were to get them, pick these ones up. Any of these three, 200s, 100s, 150s. These are the ones that are actually reliable. Like, these are actually solid. The, the plastic, or the, sorry, the, the rubber on the sole, sometimes they kind of, it hardens, like this one, it's kind of rock hard, so I don't really trust it for bending. It doesn't really have flexibility anymore, but hey, it still works. I still use them. Worked for my video. Same with these, these ones work for that Hero Tribute video. Worked really well. Still good rubber on these ones. Same with these, so you know what, let's test them out. And another note, on a lot of these, like the paint in these areas, by the tongue, it all crumbles off over time. Same with these chevrons. On the 300s, I don't really trust any kind of plastic material on it. So if you do, look at that, it's like falling off everywhere, just crumbling everywhere. 
I don't trust it, don't rely on it, and uh, sometimes you'll even see like this stuff, somehow the paint, like right now I could easily peel that off, I can easily peel this paint off, some kind of, it turns into this like glue, so I don't trust that either, so you gotta watch out, it's hit or miss, like it starts fading, this one seems fine, I guess it depends on how it was stored at the time. And like the materials just start deteriorating, obviously, because these things are like 35 years old. So, what do you expect? And you can even see the paint just comes off, rubs off. I'm gonna have to give this a good cleaning. The plastic on this, on the 400, seemed to be okay, except for this insole. This thing, this midsole, is completely ripped off. Like, you can see the inner material there. Not good. I guess that's like the whole Y bar system, whatever that is. Stabilizer bar. I don't know what it is. But I had had to look into it a lot more. But uh, yeah, those are just some extra notes for uh, purchasing your Converse ERX shoes. Just to these ones are actually brand new. I'm not gonna wear these. Whoa, that is not good. There's a little silverfish in there. Got to get rid of that. Not good. Did I kill him? Anyways, these ones are brand new. I shouldn't have got them. I don't even know why I got them. These are the 150s. It's got a cool like purple design. It's hard to really tell. These things are beautiful, mint condition. Here, okay, let's read the little. Uh, let's read that. So, what does that say? The new wave and high performance from Converse will recycle an athlete's energy for longer, stronger workouts. Do I really believe it? Maybe. Let's test it out. The energy wave has 77% better energy return than Nike Air. Hey, I believe it, man. I don't want to mess with these because I'm probably going to have to sell them. If anyone wants them, they're up for grabs. Maybe 500 bucks, 600 bucks. US, of course. Cause I don't wanna, hey, I paid a hell of a lot for these. I gotta try and get my money back for them at least. Beautiful, size 11, a little too big for me, but hey, if you want them, come get them. The only shoe that's actually gonna last, other than the 100s and the 200s, are actually these Converse ERX 150s. These actually look pretty good, stylistically. Jump up, that was pretty good. What about this, something about the spinning back kick, like they're still sturdy. The rubber in them, no problem. So we're gonna go with these, because these are the only ones that I can actually use without falling apart. Hey, well, what can you do? 40 year old shoes. All right, so just like last year, let's start off with some squats. But to be honest, I don't feel like doing any cardio. Because it's midnight, what, what time is it? It's probably like 12.30 now after all this recording. So I'm just gonna do some, uh, just some main lifts, squats, bench press, maybe some deadlift. You know how it is, like WC, W style, stinger. But these feel pretty good working out. So if you want a workout shoe, they're definitely comfortable. The Converse ERX 150s feels good. Can't do very much weight. Oh. Now I'm trying to build up myself again for a little while to kind of stop because I hurt my back with sciatic. Can you see the shoes? Pretty badass, aren't they? 15 years of sciatic pain, and finally I decided to get a new bed. I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna buy a new bed. So I bought a memory foam mattress. Oh. And it actually cured my sciatic pain. So if you have sciatic pain, you should honestly consider getting yourself a freaking bed. A better mattress. Oh man, I'm weak. But the game of super rich has been slacking. These 150s, they're definitely no lie. These things are the real deal. Let's do it. Hulk Hogan. Put that plate into a nosedive, Hulk Hogan. 
We have to stop the board right here. Right here. So fine. I'm making it sound like it's a big number here. But it's actually not that much at all. Yeah, but I'm going to be like, this guy is fucking freaking shit. Well, I'm going to be like, this guy is fucking freaking shit. Well, I'm going to be like, this guy is fucking freaking shit. Wow, that's terrible for him. My back can't hold this. I'm sure my side is gone, but fuck. Um, it's not getting up. I'm going to Oh, well. I ain't so super. Very skinny calves. So I gotta work on these, trust me. Hopefully by next year, you're gonna see some beefed up calves. Let's test out the flexibility. Let's do it, so 115 pounds. You can really see that the rubber's still good in these things. After how many years? And like I said, I gotta build up these calves. Yep. Look at that. No damage. Nothing. Rubber. Still good. Paint's flying off though. Well actually I kinda repainted these though. Remember last year I picked up Brock Lesnar? The WWE Brock Lesnar? As well as the UFC Brock Lesnar? Well, this year, I'm not going to do neither of those. <sighs> because I don't want to hurt myself. So, I'm just going to do lighter weights. This is going to be tonight's main event of the evening. With the game of superhero. I'm just going to do this as many times as I can until I get tired because I don't feel like doing anything else. It's already, what time is it? It's like 1.20. It's about 1.30 in the morning. I don't even want to do this at all. So I'll just finish it off with this with me rambling. All right. Let's just finish this with me trying to do this over and over and over until I kill myself. Probably. It's not going to be good for my health. What I'm about to do here, probably not good for anything in my body. But, it's the new year, and hey, we're always about doing crazy shit on New Year's, right? No. Oh, it's going to kill my body. I can't do that anymore. Whew. Well, let's conclude the year. It's 123, January 1st. January 1st, 2019. The Game of Superhero is here for you. Thank you for checking out the Converse CRX series. And I hope you guys want some more. I hope you guys go on online to find your own Converse CRXs so you can be like the Game of Superhero. Try and get those back in. We need to get Converse CRXs back. The game is superhero. It's coming to the new year. All hyped up, you can see it. I'm really jacked up here. Got my Stinger shirt, WCW. Baby, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. I guess I'm trying to be like one of those XFL football players. So I almost forgot, almost got carried away, but Overall, these shoes, they actually work very well under workout conditions. So, I highly recommend that you get these shoes for a workout. Converse CRX 100s, if you can find them, like these. Beautiful shoes, man. I, I can't highly recommend them anymore. Super comfortable if you can get a mint. And, uh, yeah, perfect for working out. Definitely a big game in superhero thumbs up. I know that's cheesy as hell. But hey, it's YouTube. All right, let's do it. Gotta get pumped up like the ultimate warrior, Stinger, Hulk Hogan. Take your vitamins, your minerals, all that kind of stuff. Whatever, whatever else you gotta do, do that. But I'm not gonna do that kind of stuff. Nah, the game is superhero. Never does that kind of stuff. Game superhero is clean, 
Look at this. Clean muscle, baby. Oh. You can tell it's clean muscle. Look at how weak this is. Come on, look at this. Oh. My left side there. Oh, no. Oh. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Holy shit. Right. Oh. Oh. Let's go over the top, baby. Still on, baby. Ah. Ah. That's what I'm talking about. West Texas State. I'm coming home, baby. We're taking it home. The only problem is Nike owns Converse, and they're not going to bring this back. Most likely, we'll never see them back. I just hope they do. But uh, in due time, for the meantime, you're going to have to go and hunt for them. you got to go find them. you got to go get them yourself because no one else is going to make them for you. Nike's not going to make them for you unless you go to some guy, give him the plans. If there's some kind of 3D printing we can get going, I want those shoes back. I want the Converse ERX series to come back blooming and feeling real good because I love my ERXs. I get pumped when I see them. Every time they pop up, I say, oh, whoa, a Converse ERX series? I could use that. I want it. How come it's not on the shelves? How come they don't remake these damn things? The Game and Superhero wants his Converse ERX is back. And I'll do anything I can to get him.